that of the gentleman mm. says US Embassy. So don't worry, they don't need they don't need that's the reason why I keep on asking what country you come from. Because there are two areas in our tour where they ask what countries they came from. Tatlong mm. US. Dalawang Australia, isang Portuguese. Mm. So why do they need to know where we come from? Uh, at the end of the year, they do a tally on how many came from each and every country. Oh, okay. Just to get that tally. Okay. How many tourists we had, yeah. or something like those. Okay. All right. So, so that's it right there. Inside, you have 17,206 markers on the field representing a body underneath. Plus the names of 36,000 soldiers that are missing in action. We're not going to get out? Uh, we, uh, oh, we, uh, we will, we will, we will. We will give you enough time. So we'll give you that is minutes, all time, the memorial we'll the right there. Okay? It's so, like, these seven, are all Americans? Uh, these are all allies. Allies of Americans. And this is uh, the victims there. of the Second World War here at the Asia Pacific area. So this was the war versus Japan. So 17,000 in the field plus the names of 36,000 soldiers that are missing in action. A total of 53,000 people are memorialized over here, making this the biggest memorial outside the United States. Wow. Now, 17,206 uh, 17, represents just 39%. Because 61% are still there in, her, in their hometown. It's a stretch, What do guys. I mean? This was built in 1958. It was 13 years it's after the stretch. Second World War. These people died between 1941 to 1945. And when they died, they were first sent back home to their hometowns. And 13 years later, the U.S. was requesting if they could be buried as a group because this was built in 1958. So they were asking the next of kin, can we exhume the remains from the hometown and rebury them here? So these are all allies. There are a lot of Filipinos, but during those times, they recruited a lot of Filipinos, but we were under U.S. territory at that time. Practically, we were Americans too. At that time, 19, uh, 1901 to 1945, we were under the U.S. And uh, these are not just battles here in the, uh, in the Philippines. These are battles all over the Asia Pacific area. Battles reaching as far as Papua New Guinea, Australia, and New Zealand are here too. So, you'll have 20 minutes of free time, you'll be allowed to take pictures of anything, you're allowed to visit the crosses, you're allowed to walk on the grass. Fantastic! On your left side will be a big circle, where each side of the circle would have 24 pairs of walls, where the names of the missing are etched. The tall okay. structure within the circle is the chapel. Now, inside the chapel, you've got this guest book. You may register your name to be an official visitor of the area, you also have the brochures. Toilets at our back, next possible time from the restroom would be in an hour. The best place to get a panoramic view of the process, you head for that area. Turn right, walk on the grass, turn right from that place, you'll be able to take a very good panoramic view of the process. How long are we spending here? 20 minutes. Okay, 20, 20 minutes, minutes here. So from that area, you could turn right, walk. Uh, all right, guys. So you all heard um, the tall guide explain the memorial and what it stands for. And um, <clears throat> I'm just going to move a little closer so you can see. So like he explained, um, the U.S. built this memorial. And it has a lot of, um, you know, significance for the people of this area, for this uh, Filipino. Because um, as you guys know, this is Pillow Talk with AK Fab of Nigerian Celebrity Network, guys. And this is Pillow Talk Manila, Pillow Talk um, Asia Tour, and um, Pillow Talk with Fab. All right? Bye.